Howdy folks, hope everybody doing real good. The gardens are coming in, I gotta do something with some of this stuff. We're gonna be whooping up a picante sauce this afternoon, but we're not gonna be doing a plain picante sauce. We're gonna be smoking some of this up and charring some of this off to make it extra good. If you don't wanna smoke and char, use the grill. You can skip that part and go straight to the blending process. It's outstanding that way as well. I got some Roma tomatoes back there. I guess that's about about eight or nine. Big old red bell pepper. I got some cayenne peppers come out of my cousin's garden. Got some uh, green and red jalapenos come out of the gardens. We got some cilantro, an onion, some apple cider vinegar, head of garlic, some cumin, and some adobo. You're going to need a little water, and I like to put some of this... Uh, Tomato bouillon in mine. You can leave that out if you want to. Got MSG in it. Makes it extra good. We're going to get the grill fired up. And while that's uh, heating up, we're going to process some of these peppers. Get the cores cut out of them uh, tomatoes. Get this cut down a little bit. We're going to smoke some of this. And some of this, like them tomatoes, we're just going to kind of char off a little bit over direct uh, heat. They're little cayennes right here. I'll tell you what, they're some good looking peps. We're going to cut the uh, stems off of them. And I'm just going to set them over in the basket. We're going to leave the seeds and everything in these. It's going to add a good bit of heat and spice to this picante sauce. Now you can use a serrano pepper if you want to. It's going to add a good bit of heat and spice. I'm going to take these off the sink, rinse them real good, get them seeds out of there. I'm going to put about three-fourths of this big old onion in there. Save that for some beans. We'll put these over a direct heat. Just char them a little bit. We're going to get us about 10 cloves of garlic on, let that smoke up with these peppers and onions. Now a lot of times Conte sauce don't have lime in it, but I like a little lime in mine. So it's going in now. All that's going to go in the blender, and then we'll cook it down until we get the consistency we're looking for. Let's get all the goodies out there. Put a little apple wood in here and let that smoke. We'll come out here and turn that every five or ten minutes for a little while to pick up good smoke. If 
forgot to sprinkle a little adobo seasoning on him. Kicking about 20 minutes. I put me some more smoke wood over on this side. That over there is burning up. Been on about 45 minutes and they're looking pretty good. Got some little char on them there on the tips. Picked up smoke pretty good. Get these tomatoes on here and let them roast a bit. on about an hour total let's get these goodies in the house that stuff is smelling good smoked out there on that apple wood i'm gonna put a little apple cider vinegar in here and a little bit of water get this running While that's running, we're going to get us a little olive oil heated up over here in this pot. bit of apple cider, a little bit of water, a little bit of little butter there. Put the rest of this apple cider in here, that was a cup and a quarter, and we got a cup and a quarter of water. Get this cilantro in. About three or four tablespoons. We're gonna get a teaspoon of cumin in now. We're gonna get us some of this tomato bouillon in. Do a tablespoon of that right now. Give this taste, see what it needs on salt.
pretty good. Get a little bit more of this adobo in. I'm gonna put another teaspoon of this tomato bouillon in too. Some lime juice. We're gonna let this simmer here about 15 minutes or until it thickens up a little bit. This whole pecante simmered about 15 minutes and then I turned the fire off and it's just been sitting here cooling off a little bit. And you want that to be fairly thick. Not too thick, and not too thin. About like that right there is about like how I want mine. You want to just go on top of stuff and not just, you know, run off. Let's see what this tasting like since it's been sitting here a little bit. Boy, that's good. That is a good picante sauce. It's a little smoky. It's a little spicy. It's not too hot. I'd say it's probably a medium on heat. You know, I thought it probably would have been a little hotter with those cayennes in it. And by tomorrow, once it cools off, the heat always mellows out the next day anyhow. Let's get this jarred up. Now, once you get this together and you give it a taste, if you want to adjust seasonings, you know, if you want some more garlic flavor, put you some garlic powder in there. If you want more onion flavor, put you some onion powder in there. If you don't want to smoke everything off and fool with the grill, you can do this exactly the same way, but on them maters, uh, just blanch them off in some boiling water for about 10 minutes till that skin starts busting loose and gets soft. And you'll know when they start busting apart, they're ready to come out that water. And I only put a teaspoon of cumin in here. It's a pretty big batch. Uh, you can go up on the cumin if you want to, two or three teaspoons. I don't like a lot of cumin in my picante sauces. I like cumin. I just, for some reason with picante, I like for it to be rather light. I like for the tomato flavor and the, uh, the roasted peppers to really come through. Got me a couple of half pints of picante sauce there. Had some left over. That'll go real good on some steak nachos I'm going to cook up here later. An outstanding picante sauce. Not your usual fare. Mm. A smoky picante sauce. That's the great thing about the garden. It gives you some beautiful vegetables. You put a little love and time into them, you get a beautiful product. Till next time, peace.